President Biden shows solidarity with Ukraine by making an unannounced visit to Kyiv. He met with President Volodymyr Zelensky in the capital city. The visit comes just four days before the anniversary of the invasion. Our David Winter spent the afternoon with a Ukrainian family who moved to the tri-state after it became apparent the war wasn't ending anytime soon. David, a very interesting story. Yeah, certainly is, Megan. Try to imagine sitting and having a cup of coffee at your home in Hamilton or Covington or Milford, just like any other day. Suddenly, you hear sirens followed by the concussions of bombs. In an instant, the world you knew was gone. It was morning, uh, 24th of February. Anna Dovsik remembers the day like it was yesterday. Her sister called on the phone. And she said, it's beginning. I said, no, you're a joke. It's, it's not true. She said, yes, look at their window. And it was terrible. We spoke to Anna, her husband Alexander, and their boys Daniel and David at their new home in Independence, Kentucky. They moved here in October from a city about 100 miles south of Kiev called Cherkessy when a dear family friend was able to sponsor them and it became apparent that the war was not going to end anytime soon. I couldn't send my family and not go with them. I wanted to work and make sure they're taken care of. Alexander owned a walk-up restaurant. Anna, a retired police officer, had opened a salon a few years back. They were very comfortable and happy. They owned cars, a home. They vacationed and spent a lot of time with their boys' grandparents. What do you hope for the future for your family? I hope the war ends soon. If it doesn't, we will have to move our parents here. We will leave behind all of our material things. It doesn't matter, as long as we're together and safe. 18-year-old Daniel had just started college. I didn't want to come to America. I had university in Poland, a girlfriend, my friends and grandparents, but I'm glad now that I came, but it's hard. 14-year-old David also speaks little English and misses the family pet. I miss my dog. I'm hoping when my grandparents move here, they can bring her with them. But until that time, the Dovsiks rely on Skype to stay connected to their family. Anna asks her mom if she misses them. Yeah, very much, yes. So. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Bye. Was very hard for me. Yeah. Hard to see. Well, the Dodgers hope and pray that the war ends soon. They are proceeding as if it will not, and they're making a life for themselves here. Alexander just got a job. He'll be doing tech support. Anna is hoping to restart her salon business here in the United States. Daniel is looking for work and he's looking for friends and David is going to high school and working hard on his English so he too can make some friends. Megan? What an incredible family, David. Thank you for introducing us to them. Now there is an event at Cincinnati City Hall this Friday to commemorate the one year anniversary of the Russian invasion. Then Saturday there will be another event, this one to raise money for aid to Ukraine. We have links to both on our website, local12.com and on our Local 12 News app.